Hi people and welcome to Darren's Trading. Today I'm going to be doing a update, uh, a little bit of a glossy report on FT UK. Now FT UK is a prop firm, okay? Um, I've been using this prop firm for some time. Um, there has been a big U-Ha with prop firms. What's basically happened is that um, they will not allow prop firms to trade in America. So I did have a major problem with my Cloudsy. I've converted it over to Luxembourg. So that seems to have resolved that issue. The other thing is that FT UK, and I would imagine that all the other prop firms are going to follow suit, is that they are now using a different trading platform. Okay, so they're not using MT4, they're not using MT5. So what does this, um, what problem can this cause? Well, the problem is that we were reliant on using MT4 indicators um, to be able to trade on the MT4 platform. The same as I was reliant on using MT5 indicators to trade on an MT5 platform. However, there is a workaround. There's a couple of things you can do. Uh, without getting too technical, you could have created a copy trading account and then had it so it would actually copy trade with inside um, your actual thing. You could do that. The other way is going to be the simple way, which I'm going to show you. And basically what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the whole of the process and I'm going to give you an idea of what what will happen, okay? Because this is going to catch a few people out, I can promise you. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is with FTUK, okay? This is an account I've got. I've got two accounts with them, all right? I'm just going to show you inside my actual, um, inside my server, and you'll see that I'm actually loading up my Robo Forex demo account, okay? Uh, which is this one right here. And I'm going to sign into this account very, very shortly. And then I'm going to place uh, an MT4 um, EA with inside this. And then when I get some signals or indicators, I'm then going to trade onto my um, Match Trader account. Okay, now the Match Trader account works, <coughs> excuse me, inside a browser. OK, so it doesn't have a platform as such. It runs inside a browser. So if you see that I click on Chrome, it runs pretty much the same as what other um, Forex.com does, Libertex um, does, you know, that, that sort of thing. It, it runs with inside a browser, OK, so it's on the cloud. Now, um, with first glimpse, this isn't a bad thing, OK, because this is given a little bit of le legitimacy with the actual trades now so rather than you reliant on creating a bot you've got to have a little bit of a um a discipline now because you could actually blow your account up very very quickly you can see that my balance is 3500 usd inside this account um what i also like is that where you are inside the ft uk okay if I want to switch across to my next account, this is an evaluation. So it says it's a demo, all right, but it's not, if you know what I mean. And this is at 3,535. So this is an account that's actually been running. I have actually got other accounts, um, which I haven't actually um, seen at the moment, okay? But it may be they might take a little bit of you know time for it to get through. It also gives you top movers, so it's showing you the XMR USD. It allows you and Shiba coin, okay, is at 4.77 XAG, which is obviously um, silver, okay, and XAU, which is gold. Um, and you can see that we're getting loads of bits and pieces coming down in the corner here. So it's just something to bear in mind, okay. You have a lot more symbols than you did with inside your MT4 account. You can trade um, with actual uh, crypto, which is a good thing, okay? Because there's a couple of meme point coins that could go parabolic. And if you get inside these, there's a good chance that you may be able to jump inside this. So for our argument, say there's an NCD JPY price analyst, bearish settlement continue, okay? So we click on here. 
You can see that Tuesday's session, the NCG JP pair rose to 91.5 level and showing a slight gain of 0.15. So this could be a good one to get into because this could be NCD JPY. This could actually drop, okay, because it's in a bearish motion. Now, the way to test this would be to use some of the indicators that I've shown you with inside the Trading Academy. Uh, this would be my advice to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go over to the Robo Forex. I'm just going to pop my details in there and I'm going to open up this account and then we will see if there's any trades that we can take live. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. I'm going to just sign into my Robo Forex account. Okay, for you to enable... Um, the FT UK, what you'll need to do is you will be sent a password, and this is normally the password that would get you onto your platform, i.e., if it was MT4 or MT5. What you need to do is make sure you use the email address that you signed up with FT UK or whatever prop firm, okay, and then add in um, your actual own password now this isn't the password that you use to get into ft uk this is the password that you would get into using as your platform now it's important to understand this otherwise you'll be going round and round in circles thinking i can't get i can't get in i can't get in i can't get in i can't get in right um and when all you need to do is make sure that you add in the password now i'm going to show you um if we go back here you'll see that it will then come up with the accounts that are active. So at the moment, the accounts that I've got active is a demo account and a live account. Now, this demo account is an evaluation, okay? The one below it is an instant funding. So what this means is that this is an instant funded account of 3,500. Providing I don't go under the drawdown level, then I won't lose my account. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trading... Um, using certain ways which I'm going to be doing one of them is I'm going to be using um, Robo Forex which I'm patiently waiting for it to load up it's gone very very slow at the moment but it could be because it's just where I'm running all my servers at the same time and then once I get the MT4 terminal working I'm going to be putting in some special um, EAs expert advisors and I will be running that. So really, this is just a little bit of an emergency video. Um, it's quite possible uh, that you've just stumbled across this video. And it's literally just going to be showing you how I'm going to be using the Match Trader. Okay, which is the Match Trader account. Which is this one here. Okay. Um, to actually make my trades. But to... Rather than use a bot, because you can't put a bot onto this trade. So this is one of the things which, you know, is, is going to cause issues for a lot of people. Because where they're relying so much on a bot, they aren't necessarily going to know when to get into a trade. Now, my advice to you is if you're going to do trading, um, I would go for day trades. I would study um 50 minute and five minute time frames and possibly then put into a day trade so you set this up and then just leave it chugging along to the next day you can work through your support and resistance lines you could also go to trading view if you go here and click on trading view open up the trading view account uh, and this is going to give you lots and lots of information that's going to really help you okay you can see that this one here is is gold okay i'm going to change this because uh, as I said to you before, I do use a certain test kit. You'll see here that I'm using a special um, indicator on this one. And this shows me cheat sheets, if you like, of when to get into a trade, when to get out of a trade, when to get into a trade, when to get out of a trade. Very, very similar to what a lot of my signals do on MT4. Okay, so please don't think that you're missing out because um, pretty much... Everything which I give you with inside my signals is going to show you um, how this will work for you, okay? And you'll benefit from that. So there's no reason why, why you can't benefit from that. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to try and attempt to actually get this to work because we're having issues with this. So we need to go back to my accounts. 
This is the one I'm trying to load up, which is this one here. Copy. I'm going to go back into here. Um, I just need to d check to see that it is a Demo Pro account. It's very important that you make sure that you get this is a Demo Pro account, which is this one here. Now hit next. Now I'm going to add into my existing login details. I'm going to put in my password. And then hit finish. Hopefully that's going to load up. Now I had a no connection error that come up in the corner. Still coming up with an invalid account. Um, so for the time being, what we'll do is we will try and demo what can happen. Okay, uh, this could be tricky. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring across, and you'll see that it's not going to allow me to join this account. So what we need to do is I will set it up for another account. Ideally, this will be another video. The main cause of this video was just to let you know that if there's lots of people trying to get into FT UK trading platforms on the MT4 and MT5, you can't do it anymore. You have to use a match trading account, okay, which is this one here. Uh, there is a training tutorial video. I'll leave the links below inside um, my trading uh, academy membership area. So you'll be able to get access to this. Uh, and pretty much this is going to give you lots and lots of information of what you need to do. What I do like about it, though, is I do like the way that you can actually trade crypto. It allows you to trade crypto. Uh, and it runs in the browser, so it's going to be a little bit... Uh, faster in some respects uh, and you know you could literally run this on your machine because it's running on the browser uh, and you can see that you get lots of indicators that you can use as well so you really get a feel that you're actually trading on a platform you know you're actually trading on a an exchange as as opposed to when you're trading on MetaTrader 4 MetaTrader 5 with naked um, diagrams and candlesticks etc you can see this one look it's coming up so this is AUD USD is a bearish momentum in Tuesday's session the AUD USD observes slight bearish momentum declining towards 0.6535 so if we changed this what you do is you go to search and you put AUD USD and we're going to just hit search on that and we're going to click on here and that's going to open up this picture here now uh, I'm going to set my timeline, so my time frame, this is on a day, so we're going to move this down to 4 hour. You can see that it's bouncing off this support here, you can see these are heavy supports. If we look along, this is a support line here, support line here, support line here. So this could be possibly, so what I would be inclined to do is if this breaks this level here, okay, um, then I would put in a a actual short trade which means that it is going to be a bear trade it means it's going to go down so you could go for a sell trade by clicking the sell trade and you see the sell trade is now activated at 0.01 i'm just doing this as a demonstration purpose okay and it also comes down with an arrow showing that this is going down now your take profit you want to be just above this line here so i would be inclined to be anywhere just above this line here okay because what we find is it is going to bounce and then if it breaks this point here okay if it breaks this point here this line here which is lots of support here okay if it breaks this support then it could go bearish again okay but remember we're in four hour time frame so if we go to 30 minutes and if we go to 15 minutes, you'll see that it's already starting to break this line here. You'll see that we're just coming into profit at three, four, four cents. And what we're looking for is we're looking for it to pass this this support area. Okay, so once it breaks down here and then goes back down, then we know that this is going to fall. Now remember, this could what can happen sometimes is it will bounce down, go back up and then it will go down again okay so you know and it's going to respect other support and resistant areas so you're going to be looking at other points here so so 
So there's another one here, and you're going to be looking somewhere around this mark here. So it could break this line, and then it could fall down, and then it could bounce back up because oh, there's lots of support here, right? So this could go back up and down, up and down. Now there's a lot of things you could use with this. You could use Fibonacci um, if there's an indicator chart on here that we can use. Um, let's have a look. You see we've got Bollinger Bands, we've got Max CD, so we can use this. This is going to work, add Max CD. So, you know, it's very good. It basically gives you everything that, that everything else has, really. Um, I would be inclined, if you've got it, to use Fibonacci. Fibonacci works really well. And, of course, there's the Bollinger Bands. And then normally when it jumps out, something like this. And then you could use the MA, which is the moving average, uh, at 250. And look for the cross. That's another way that you can trade this as well. Um, and there's lots and lots of things that you can do here, okay? So you can see here that this is a 30-minute window. You also see that this is penetrating this line, so it means it's going to come down. You can see that I'm in profit. I know it's very, very low profit, but I'm just giving you a little bit of an idea. And, of course, what I would do here is trade very, very slowly with this account. Once you get to, say, $10, $20, I would then take the trade just by hitting the X button. Okay, and this will close that position. And, of course, I want to get to 3,800. If I get to 3,800 and this, I'm going to pass my first evaluation charge. Um, and then it's going to give me a second chance. And then... Um, it's going to allow me to have an account for 4,200 instead of 3,500 and I can just keep increasing my actual um, account details. Okay, so that's it. Um, hopefully this is going to give you a bit of an information about the FT UK. Um, as I said to you before, when you sign in, just make sure you use your platform um, password, not the password that you use to get into your FT UK and you'll find that you won't have any issues. It will work quite seamlessly. Uh, and then once you're in, it's just up to you really what you want to do. Uh, as I said to you, I'm going to be actually making sure I run my Robo Forex, which is this one here. Once I get it operational, I've got a few other accounts. So there could be a little bit of uh, a recompilation here. There seems to be a little bit of a conflict, which I've got to sort out. Um, so that's it. That's the end of this video. Hopefully this is going to help you. Um, if you have any questions, obviously you can contact me with inside the new Facebook group, which will be launching soon. Um, and we can help you that way as well. So all the very best. Hopefully you're enjoying the signals. And until my next video. Cheers. Bye now.